Well, all right, guys. Hey, how you doing? Man, yeah, this temperature's really dropping right now. Hey, but I'm about to go ahead and do my last video on this cook on the ABS Pit Boss. Uh, so the, the chicken, the quarter legs have been running. I've been running about an hour and a half, I believe. Uh, so they are just about done. It's sitting at 150. Okay, but I get. I went ahead and topped off my a pellet smoker my pellet hopper this is a 20 pound hopper and, uh, someone asked me man what kind of pellets do you use you know so man these these are real they're not these are real this stuff, i've been using this for, for a couple years now the pit boss uh, all natural uh, barbecue hardwood pellets you get them at walmart this is a 40 pound bag right and it's only 12 bucks hickory maple apple blend and some other stuff on there so and you get you get more for your money than buying those little 20 pound bags of I think it's like eight, nine dollars or something like that. But uh, that competition blend right there, man, that's some good stuff. Y'all to try that. Hey, what's going on, Jeff? How you doing? So, a pellet smoker. You know, I did turn it back down at 180 because uh, I didn't want to go no higher than you know, like you know, 300 degrees. But usually, I put it on 180 and I turn it down to like five or six on the P status. You know, usually it usually stays around 275. You know, but you can go up to 225. You know, it'll 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 jump up to about 300 degrees and then it'll come back down. But I didn't. I just keep it on 180. Okay, because uh, you're gonna see it's it's uh, plus or minus. It's right at two uh, 225. Okay, I'm gonna say 225. All right. Okay. Let's go ahead and open up. See what we got. And I'm gonna go ahead and flip this chicken because it's already sitting at. 155. I'm gonna turn this light on. It's starting to get a little. It's starting to get a little dark a little bit. Let the smoke clear out. But yeah, I think that looks good. They're sitting at 155, and then I'm gonna flip it. I'm gonna flip the uh, rotate the chicken so I can start. I can crisp the chicken up or crisp the skin up. Okay. Let me get my. Check right there. I'm gonna turn this off. And let's check the internal temp. So right now, look at it, it's 34 degrees. Oh, too close. It was 32 degrees. It's got warm because I'm close to the pit. Let's see where we at. Try not to hit no bone. There we go. 160. Because you know, yeah, you know, and for these thighs, you want to go at least 170. Okay, so. At least 170. So when I flip and go for my another 30 minutes, it should be done. Okay. Let's turn it ahead. 158, 160. Okay. So everything is cooking pretty, uh, pretty even. 165, 150. Okay. Let me check this last one over here. Okay. About the same. So I got 48 pieces. I'm gonna go ahead and just go ahead and roll. Go ahead and flip these over. Uh, I might go a little darker. I'm gonna go ahead and flip these over anyway. But I like this thing, this rotisserie, because it cooks, of course, on on the top and the bottom of your chicken. I'm not gonna bore you guys with flipping all 48 pieces of chicken now. I might just do a couple and then I go check the back where the firebox is, but I did I did have some lump in there. And it's looking that's looking really good. Oh yeah. Get in there. Make sure you make sure you try to balance it back out. You don't want to stay flipping on you. Woo, man, look at that chicken. Oh, that's a good color. Man, that looks good. Oh, 
what you get. Check this out. I need to tell my kids to get me a tripod for my phone. Oh, yeah. Man, that looks tasty. That looks good right there. Come on. Yes, sir. Now, like I said, I did, I did brine these for uh, just over 18 hours. And I didn't put a lot of season on them. Just a little bit of cayenne pepper. Just a little bit of sweet heat. But once you brine chicken, you know, you don't have to put a lot of seasoning on them, man. Let the smoke and the brine do the rest. All right. Oh, see that right there? You gotta catch that. Gotta catch that one. This might be the last rack, I believe so. Yeah. So we're gonna do this last one since I'm here. And go ahead and check out the back of the uh back of the pit. Oh man, look at that. All that good juice. Because when you brine, man, that meat stays juicy. And the bottom gets a good cook, a good brownie. That one need a little bit more, but it'll cook on top. Yes, sir. I think that's good. Okay. Like I said, this is gonna be my last, gonna be my last video. Matter of fact, we check this temp over here. 145. Okay. So I'm taking out, I'm taking this chicken test. Ah, darn it! I got one more. My arm getting tired. Oh, God, I got that last one down there. Okay, let's see. Man, look at that cup. Yeah. Okay, now we're done. Does the APS cook chicken better than the boat? Uh, <laughs> you had to put me on the spot, huh? <laughs> you had to put me on the spot. Yeah, to tell you the truth, I mean, it's all it's all about your seasoning and how much smoke you put in it, put in the back, or how much smoke you put in the uh, the boat. Okay, but I would say this is a lot easier. Oh, we have this much chicken uh, because it's, it's, man, you don't have to do a lot of, uh, I didn't have to rotate this chicken if I didn't want to. But I like the easiness, the easiness of it. Instead of pulling out the racks, put it on there, let it go around in circles. But the, um, I'm about to pee, I'm about to pee him on you on that one. But it's all about how you, how you smoke your chicken. Okay. All right, let's go to the back. Now let's go check this thing out. So I did turn off my my grill, I mean my, my propane, and see how this thing is doing. Oh, there we go. That's all that's left. I'm gonna open it up too. But man, if you know about it, you know cabinet smokers, they 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 are a lot they are a lot better when it comes to you know smoke profile. Uh, because uh, man, we all know that cabinet smokers are very, very insulated. You know, the the one you talk about the boat, that one is I think it's like a, a double pane. Uh, insulated firebox and, and 
and chamber. So if you have something that insulated, you know that the, the smoke profile is gonna be a lot better than most smokers, okay? So I'm gonna leave it at that. So I, so I got, I have three, I have three cabinet smokers and they're all insulated. Um, but I got my cabinet smokers just for like winter time or to have like less fuel, less fuel to save money, okay? But it's, it's your preference. But this ABS, it does put out some great smoke, man. I'm not gonna lie to you. Can you grill on a cabinet? Yes, you can. I can grill on my boat or my other cabinet smoker. So all you gotta do is uh, put the fire box with the fire box basket up top and you can grill. But the the boat, it's a, it's the chamber is separated from the pit. But my battle box has an open cabinet smoker. Yeah, look at the, uh, the wood in the back. That's good. But it's coming along. It looks real good. But don't get me wrong, guys. Hey, I, I only buy the best. Okay. And the APS Pit Boss is one of the best of the rotisseries out there on the market. I have researched a lot. Man, look at that mug in the back. I love that popping. That's beautiful. Can y'all hear that? All right, guys, this is my last video. Hey, I'll talk to you later. Hey, God bless. You guys have a wonderful Sunday. <laughs> I wish I lived close. Hey, man, I appreciate it. Hey, take care.